Hey everyone, it's Swap Meet Day. We're in Sacramento, California at the Denial Swap Meet. Uh, what are we going to find today? We're going to take you with us and see what we can find. And you just never know when you're going to run into aliens on the way uh, of searching for some great things. If you stay with me to the end of the video, you'll see that I find a gold ring on the way out. Unfortunately, this morning I went to the upper lot and my camera was face down, so you really couldn't see anything. So I'm going to flash uh, some of the jerseys I found on the screen so that you can see uh, what I purchased. This is the Lamar Odom jersey. I got it for 10 bucks. Uh, should sell uh, around $35. Um, I also got this Harlem Globetrotters Metal Lark jersey, also $10. Should sell around the $35 range. Um, it's the middle of winter, so it's hard to find good things. I was just happy to get a sunny weekend uh, with some resellers out here. Um, I was able to come and just get some sunshine, some fresh air. Hope to find some stuff for my eBay store, uh, but also just catch up with people I haven't seen in a while. Uh, so all in all, it's a great day, uh, but I am definitely hunting for stuff for my eBay store. Uh, and so let's see what else we find today. Uh, you're coming along with me. If you don't know who I am, my name's Sean. I'm a part-time reseller. I uh, work a full-time job and then I resell on the side. And I'm taking you through my... I started YouTube about a month ago. So thanks for everybody who subscribed. In one month, we've already got 100 subscribers and about 1,000 watch hours. So that's really cool. Very grateful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed or liked, please do so. I know that the editing is bad. I know that the video quality can improve. I know the audio can improve. We are working on that. Unfortunately, uh, it's a learning curve. So I am going to uh, try my best to uh, get you and bring you more material. Always talk to the vendors. I ask uh, this gentleman every time, uh, what do you got that's vintage? What, what do you got that's older? Uh, and he'll bring me and he'll show me the stuff he's gotten this week. Uh, that nobody else has seen so I'm the first one who gets to see this uh, lot here in the bag um, so I feel very privileged that he uh, trusts me uh, to be a buyer at his shop I bought from him before on another video um, I'm definitely limited on funds this round uh, so I am looking for smaller dollar items to flip for bigger profit uh, but it's still good to take a look see if there's anything that I just can't live without uh, in there so he's got a lot of uh, kind of t-shirts from different sports teams always cool to see the good prints um, good teams and then in here there's also pants so sometimes I don't un always understand why a pair of pants uh, is so sought after or not I know what I'm looking for based on some of the research but these guys know even more. They, they, they're in the clothing business a lot longer. Um, they're charging uh, accordingly per types of pants. So if you don't understand why, just ask. You know, uh, these are Carpenter, Levi Carpenter pants. Um, but in here, uh, there's a pair of pants he's charging $50 for. I think it's the one I'm looking at right now. And I was like, why is he charging $50 for these? What's so special? I couldn't find the tag. I'm looking everywhere for this tag. Usually I'm used to 501s having like a double X uh, on the back of the pocket there. Um, but there's a white tag. I think that we eventually find it. And what you want to find is that made in the USA that was on the bottom of that tag. So uh, those pants go for about 50 bucks or more. Um, I've seen some listed at 7500 plus, um, but definitely be on the lookout for that uh, Made in the USA tag. That is a uh, bolo if you can find that. He also had other carpenter pants and different things. I, I didn't have time or the money to look, at, look them all up, uh, but just grateful that I've made a connection there and I'll visit him every week uh, to keep on... Uh, trying to find things to flip um, and he, he knows the eBay rates so he's definitely working with the resellers uh, trying to mark them uh, to where we'll buy them as well 
as you can see a lot of shops are closed up um you know it's been raining we for three weekends in a row it's been pouring so we were lucky to get on a few sundays um but people are just used to uh, bundling up and trying to keep the rain off their merchandise i will say though if you shop in an open air market like this beware of what you're buying a lot of this stuff is exposed to the moisture day in day out uh, the sun you want to check the quality of the products you're buying make sure you don't buy something that's bad quality that when you put it in your store uh, you're compromising your your uh, customer satisfaction because I mean that's the number one for us so we gotta have satisfied customers or we're not really doing our job well don't force a sale if you if you're gonna lose this money in the long end in the long run Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Pretty good by yourself. Good. I like that hat. <laughs> Too epic stuff. I thought that was Oakland A's. <laughs> Still looks like a kid's hat. <laughs> How much are your hats? Two bucks a pop. Two bucks a pop. Yeah. Distressed Mickey Mouse. I do. I just started it. Okay. But I'm trying to be good about showing the what I'm looking at so people can yeah. <laughs> uh, look at it. Because sometimes the camera will be over here and I'm like, yeah. well, I guess shit. I'm like, camera, because I do the voiceover later. So I'm like, camera down, Sean, like you're voicing over. <laughs> like, <Nice>. you suck. <laughs> this is cool feeling. What is this? 20 bucks. It's an UGG. Okay. I was like, there's something quality about this. Now you can tell when you feel stuff. That's it, man. It's half feel, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Pricey for my budget that I'm on today. Yeah, no this is mortgage budget. I got a, I got a stretch between. You got a little bit of everything for everyone. So. Yeah. These right here are five bucks. These ones? Yeah, these are five bucks. And this one, the Harley Davidson, is ten and ten. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get these three for sure. Oh, I didn't know there's kings. Oh, I didn't even see that. Let's look there first. And these two bucks. Two bucks. Got to bring someone back to life. Yes, sir. That's one of my next videos. Bring a hat back to life. Yeah. You can do it. I mean, I planned on doing it, and it just, you know, they started stacking up. I was like, you know what? It's I a time just, suck. It you got to really get some money for it to make it worth it. And then, um. You need the, you know, the, so they don't get all deformed. So you can toss them in the dishwasher or the, uh, the washing machine. I only have one. So I was like, dude, I'm going to take forever if I just use this one. <laughs> you can only do two at a time with it. Yeah, I, uh, I stuff them full of bags in the, in the hat and I scrub them myself. Oh, okay. Um, and so the hat, the bags form them. And it's preserved pretty well too. Yeah. But I've sold some messed up looking hats and people bought them. Dude, I see the way that some people sell hats and I'm like, dude, that sold? It does. <laughs> like, well, I good. think maybe they know how to or they just really want that hat. It's, yeah, it's, you just have to get the right, the right customer. Yeah, the, the age of it too, right? I guess. The hat I've sold twice that I was like, why did somebody buy this? Is a Grumpy's Mechanics uh, shop hat. Mm -hmm. But it was always sweat banded through, the, like the sweat stains were yeah. so bad. Somebody bought it each time, and for like 12, 15 bucks. And yeah. I, I get it for a dollar, I'm like, okay. But like, 
I, just, I guess they just put it back on their head or they wash it. And yeah. Because the mechanic heads are really popular. Right. And Grumpy, right? Like yes. Grumpy from like, Disney. Like this gas monkey. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, all right. Netflix hat. It doesn't have a thing on the inside, though. Huh. I've never seen a Netflix hat. Me either. I, was I think it's a homemade job. I think so. Is that called a five panel hat? I think so. I don't know. It almost looks like that Supreme look, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what got me. I was like, mm, check this out. Yeah, hats are love hate. There's not enough profit. Yeah, you gotta find that one that looks like fifty bucks. That's hard. <laughs> I've only found one of those, <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, New York Giants. Yeah. When uh, you know, before they uh, they switched their logo or whatever. Or, or, yeah, that's cool though that you found that. Oh. All right, I got six hats there. Yeah, the best hats I've ever sold were AT&T hats, like an old employee of AT&T. I was getting 20 bucks a pop. 22. Collectors maybe? I think they all work there. They want to have a vintage hat from their, their joint, right? Oh, my bad. You said you took how much? Six? Yeah, so you gave me 15. Oh, my bad. Thank you. Hola, All right, appreciate your honesty. All right, good luck today. Yeah, no, thank you, man. That's uh, super cool that the guy uh, I overpaid him and he uh, gave me my change back. Um, some people would just pocket that and let that that go on. Those were good dudes. Uh, I was lucky to find them uh, reselling today. I uh, got six hats. They're not uh, high sell through hats, but I think they're enough that uh, it'll. Get some activity in my hat section of my eBay store. Uh, get some hats to sell. So always good. And whatever doesn't sell, I can flip right back here in the swap meet for at least the two bucks I paid. If not, uh, get a little more. So worth a shot at getting them on eBay first, and then get them out to the swap meet if they don't sell. All right. If you're not familiar with the Denio swap meet, this is the lower lot. Um, this is where I normally post up with my stuff to sell. Uh, you can get uh, two spots on Saturday. Uh, I think it's like thirty dollars plus five, and then same deal carries into Sunday. So uh, it's sixty bucks for two spots for two days. Uh, more than worth my uh, money to have an opportunity to sell a bunch of stuff when I buy storage lockers. Um, so. Also, the people who buy storage lockers tend to come here, so you want to find the people that are out in the parking lots. They're the ones who are typically not selling at eBay prices. But I'll say more and more uh, times people come to the swap meet and they sell at e eBay prices. Some people get mad at that. I don't. Um, I personally sell things at the same price, but on eBay, where they have way more customers. When somebody comes here and tries to sell something the same price as eBay, I just say, oh, I would sell that at that price too. That's a good price. Um, but it's not something I'm picking up because I'm trying to double up my money. 
And as somebody who buys storage lockers, you just can't sell everything at full price and wait for the right customer to come by. Sometimes you just got to get rid of the inventory and move on to the next one. Uh, so sometimes holding on to products is not the best way. Many people go out of business and I end up buying wholesale. They're quitting stores of items because they just didn't, they don't want to do it anymore because they couldn't make it work. Morning. Trying to get too much out of something. But I never get mad. I try not to talk people out of their prices either. Uh, it's either something I'm going to buy for that price because I know I'm making a good profit off it. Or um, I move on if I can't afford it. These all, there was a bunch of mechanic books down here. They all said like $40, $30 on them. I would never pay that much for a mechanic's book. I typically will pick them up for a dollar. Um, and they do sell between 8 and $30, $40 depending on the book. Uh, but they're very slow sellers. You're holding on to those for a while. But if you're looking for a bargain to get something uh, on the cheap, uh, this is an area that you should definitely come to. Uh, so many people come here and get all kinds of things. It's a great source uh, to find odd things that you just wouldn't find at a Walmart. Uh, so it's really nice. Anytime you see a white truck like that, um, go to it sometimes they're full of great goodies uh, and just pro tip if there's 10 people standing around it that's the one you want to be at they're all waiting there uh, they're usually pro buyers and they are waiting for things as they come off they're picking off the really high dollar items and asking how much uh, being the first ones to get it so always rush to try to be the first at any when anybody's bringing something out uh, that's the way to get the deals. These gentlemen had some nice sunglasses, nice tools. Um, I don't know much about sunglass price, but they wanted like $20 for the Oakleys. Um, I, I want to say that I remember Oakleys uh, frames being like 30 bucks on eBay. Um, here's a, a store I've been trying to get in for weeks. Um, I remember seeing this uh, area with CDs, and I like to source media. Uh, media is an easy, small lister. And over here on the left side is a bunch of CD bins, and they're just tons. So these people, they they buy uh, storage lockers, garage sale stuff, um, and they'll buy it from resellers too. And they sift through it and then they put whatever's left over in here and they charge it like a buck for them. So I'm about to put in the work to see what I can get. And I'll put on the screen uh, what I do get uh, from that uh, trip. All right, little Beavis and Butthead uh, cassette tape there. Original motion picture soundtrack. A signed uh, CD album. I think there was two on uh, this explosion. Uh, CD was really good, uh, fine, cool for cats, squeeze, another good CD. Uh, Christmas Wrap with Run DMC, wasn't expecting to find that. This is the alien uh, area, this guy goes out of country and brings back things from all over the world. Uh, if you want your tiki, you want your yard art, uh, all kinds of crazy cool things for decorating your house, your backyard. He also sells a few things for uh, somebody's estate um, there that's left over um, but really cool place if you have the money to come in and uh, decorate your outside area up uh, I always like walking in here and seeing what what he has that's new also got this promo clockers CD uh, from the movie also while you're here man uh, Mexican corn is the thing to get when you're at Denial Swap Meet me and the family always stop here uh, and get that it's so 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 good we also got a copy of this Bebe's Kids uh, CD and Triumph Triumph uh, CD so I think that didn't sell particularly well but it sold for decent money but it sold rather poorly but I was like I'll put one in my shop and uh, I'll wait the six months or a year uh, for it to sell Sometimes with CDs, you're just willing to take that longer uh, approach because it doesn't take up much space. 
Uh, I just don't want to, I'm not going to collect 10 of them, um, put them in my store. I like uh, over here on the side, you can see the kind of the Mexican market. Uh, it brings me back to being in Santa Maria and Lompoc, California. Uh, tons of that kind of stuff. Um, love the farmer's markets and the different Mexican foods. In the summer, uh, this whole place is full. Uh, there's hardly any spots open, and there's just tons of sellers here, um, and and even probably double the customers. Still a decent customer day. Um, you can see some of the booths here on the left. Uh, there are a lot of booths that sell uh, brand new products here. I don't typically shop at them. Uh, they're full price, uh, comparable with eBay or your box store, so I don't really sell with them. Um, but now I'm going back to the upper lot. I always double back my route and make sure I didn't miss anything or somebody didn't put something out or a new person didn't show up. Um, lots of reasons to go back over the route. Plus it's on the way back to my car. Um, so that's just the strategy I take. Um, we're getting close to the part where I find uh, the gold ring on the way out. Um, stay tuned for that if you uh, are liking kind of uh, what you you're hearing uh, please uh, subscribe it helps me uh, get seen by other people uh, make a comment uh, if you want to see more uh, prices of the things I sold comps um, if you want me to do more actual talking while I'm at the uh, swap meet it's really hard though because there's a lot of music playing in different sections so I have to cut out the audio um, but let me know if there's stuff you want to see if you want me to uh, talk to more vendors um, some of them are charitable causes too so we can go into that I'm more than willing to add any type of content you guys want to see I am a new creator but I if you can hit that like button for me and subscribe it completely does help um, I like coming out here uh, and ultimately my goal is to help you guys uh, also become a better reseller and then you guys share tips with me and I become a better reseller and so there's a win-win um, you don't need to make money be, uh, stepping over somebody we can make money together uh, and help each other out all right, this is the northern section uh, where I was. I kind of messed up the video this morning. I had it pointed at my feet the whole time. Um, just taking a look at this bat. Uh, I didn't even look it up. There was 20 dents in this bat. I was not going to waste the time. I just kept on moving. Um, this is the place where I bought the two jerseys that I showed you guys earlier. They were hanging off the van. Um, so, but he's put out some new stuff since I last came up here. So, going back through, making sure I've seen everything uh, one more time. And there was a bunch of cassettes. I'm not sure. What, I just love cassettes so much. I think because I had my Toyota Tacoma for 20 years. And it had a cassette de deck in it. And I've been using tapes all through the CD era and beyond the CD era. Now I don't have that truck. Um, but I really do miss uh, having my cassettes. And now I'm looking at this video after the fact, and I just didn't notice there was a Sony Walkman oh, sitting right there. Ruin your view. <laughs> Probably should have checked it out, uh, seen if the batteries were corroded in it or not. Oh well, mistakes made. I remember out of Christmas cassettes, I know where to go. I was checking these gloves to see if there was any, uh, if they were signed by a fighter or anything. It's from my YouTube channel. You just never know what you're going to find and I'm always Bring just to the swap trying to be a curious mind when I'm looking. Uh, if I don't understand it, it's probably worth looking up. Huh? Um, this gentleman no, uh, was asking uh, about my camera. Reseller, so it's uh, like my reselling I was gear. telling him a little bit about the purpose of why I'm wearing it and what I'm thrift, doing. Uh, he was just really interested. I sell here as a vendor. Uh, so it's just more of that. I get a lot of uh, people asking about the camera now. Um, so that's really cool. People are, are super interested. I thought people would be very adverse to the camera on your chest. Um, but so far, nobody's really uh, shown that much 
uh, hate for it. Um, I haven't even had anybody tell me not to put them on camera yet. It's been everybody's been super cool with it. Checking out these knives. Um, they weren't anything special. Farberware. These weren't out here earlier, so I was just making sure I didn't miss any jerseys. And if you're not familiar with swap meets, sometimes near the end of the day, between 12 and 3, a lot of people will go dollar sales or free um, and give away their stuff. Uh, they're getting rid of it so they can move on to the next load. Um, so it's always good to double back in the evening or afternoon and see uh, if anybody's uh, doing a dollar sale or free sale. For the most part, if I wouldn't have picked it up in the first run or first pass, most likely I won't pick it up again, but you never know. Uh, sometimes uh, it changes your mind when things are a dollar. But they mostly don't make my eBay store. They would make my um, swap meet booth myself. So. A lot of the north is tools. You'll see a lot of tools when we walk by. Um, if you ever needed tools, there's a ton of sellers. And it's funny because all my uh, buyers of tools are the resellers who sell the tools up here. So I sell it even cheaper than they do. They buy it off me and then they sell it for almost um, probably 75% of what the store price is. And I'm usually 50% or lower. Um, so that's just how the pecking order is. And I'm okay with it if I get a bunch of money and can move on to my next storage locker. That's a win for me. So it's the end of the day, it's time to go. Um, did the best I can here. I think I stop at a thrift store after this on the way home to continue my uh, collecting items journey. And then look what's on the ground here. That's a gold ring. Just an odd thing to pass by on the way out the door. Uh, and I see a gold ring. I'm checking it out looking for markings like it's my ring and I'm like, some poor person's probably uh, looking for their ring. Uh, so I double yeah, back and I hand it to right the guy here it's, to hopefully uh, connect it with its owner. In case somebody comes looking uh, for it. You know, you got to do good deeds. Definitely think positive and you don't take anything that's not yours. Uh, we earn our money. We uh, do good. And then good things happen to us. So uh, keep grinding. Keep learning. Have fun. And most importantly, be kind.